Hello? Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's see, let's see. All right. Hey, cool, cool. My donation box working. Nice. All right. Oh yeah, I was gonna run an ad. Ads are annoying, but there you go. <sighs> All right. <laughs> All right, let's see. What the heck am I doing now? Right, that's what I'm doing, theoretically. Not playing 150 solitaire games on my phone, but doing that instead. <laughs> Oh, whoops. Well, that's going to be a slight problem. Oh, I hate the Authenticator app. I really, really do. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Woohoo. All right, well, here we go. Hello, everybody. This is Squid Monarchy, playing Neverwinter Nights Kingmaker. I'm actually pretty close to the end, I think. 
but we'll see. <laughs> now, for uh, June Pride Month, I pursued a lovely romance with a nymph. Unfortunately, I don't think I progressed the relationship enough to get to the culmination. Attraction was expressed on both sides, which makes me happy, but uh, I think when I did my quest solving, I picked an order that was not optimal. Oh well. But we'll see. There's still a few things I could do to maybe stall for time and see if something will happen. Maybe. So, look at this lovely lady. She deserves a chance to romance a her nymph, doesn't she? Well, I guess we'll see. Let's load. Now, um, I have set up a bot strictly for one purpose, which is that the Queer Indie Games Showcase has started. My day is not till Thursday, or not Thursday, ugh, Tuesday, where I'll be playing Boyfriend Dungeon, a game I've never played, have no idea how to play, and is in a genre I am not good at. <laughs> so, uh, you're welcome to watch me, and I will be terrible. In the meantime, though, uh, it is a good clause, and I think this should work. Ah, wonderful. To give you some idea of what stream for the cause is, I have just used Nightbot to show to give the summary. Hmm, is it off-center? Is it you? It is off-center. Let's see if I can fix that. I think I'm, I moved the things around a little bit by mistake. Does it look better now? Haha, <laughs> you missed a grabby. Anyway, if anyone would like to make a donation to uh, stream for a cause before my streaming date, or uh, on that date, <laughs> there you go. There are not very many commands set up. But, you can donate there. <laughs> See, I have a bot. I haven't done anything with it, but I do have a bot. I'm feeling quite proud of myself. So, there we go. Is this still off kilter, though? I'm not sure how I managed to make my uh, stream off kilter, though. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Um, let's see. Let's see. Come on. Stop being annoying. Goodness. All right. Maybe. <laughs> Ooh, that's a thought. I will have to look into doing that because that looks like fun. <laughs> I will play around with the timer later. I think. Okay. So anyway, as I think I was saying, unfortunately, I think I missed my opportunity to bury an acorn with this lovely nymph. And uh, that is a euphemism, but also a very significant one. Um, have I gotten myself... May Jace watch over you in your adventures. <laughs> You'll send me a Discord reminder later? Well, that's good. That's good. Actually, why don't, since I've, I've doomed myself anyway, why don't I replay the part of the trial? At least then, you get the climactic part where I win because I solved so many quests. I don't like the time limit thing. <laughs> That's the one thing, because the politicking is fun. The quests are fun, but I do not like that after a certain amount of quests solved, if you're not really clever with how you do it, which I was not, it cuts you off before you can turn in. Look at how many quests I can still turn in. I have released this prisoner. I could go tell this fellow that. Ah, uh, that one's not, not significant. Um. Oh, I could do the prison. Let me go do that prison, because I think I can do the prison before I move on with the plot. Oh, I don't think I can, but we'll give it a shot. I can't turn in this manticore, because as soon as I get to the gate, she's going to stop me. So, I do appreciate that, though. Um, so, it's really annoying. Because I... The problem is I have enough votes to win, so I can't go back out and turn in a few more quests and it annoys me. But there might be something I can do, and I'm going to try it. I can't go in there because that the entryway is one of the, pl one of the bottlenecks. But I would like to level up a little more if I can, <laughs> because I, I don't want to play the final fight yet. So I just had a clever thought. Uh-oh. That doesn't sound good, Mr. Crappy. Bad weather is can be very unpleasant. I hope you're able to do what you need to do and not get struck by lightning. 
Also glad it wasn't a bomb. Alright, so let's see if this will bypass me into that area so I can get into the goddamn prison. I do not know. It might just stop me anyway. I might have progressed too far. But, I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm not unhappy with the quests I did choose to solve. I think they all make sense for my character. Ah, gotcha. Well, that's good, as long as it's... It's expected. So yeah, I think I think um, the quest I chose. I have important news. Damn it! The guild masters are pushing for a vote. They wish to get the election over with. All right. Can we stall the vote? I'm sorry, but she can no longer postpone the election. She's sure you'll win anyway. Follow me. Fuck. See, that's really frustrating. I just want to turn in all my quests, and also I didn't do enough. I think area transitions to, for my romance. Hmm. Oh well. It's alright. Just upsetting. The guilds have voted. I have tallied the votes, and here are the results. Two votes for Sir Beckett. Sir Beckett is a dick. Zero votes for Enovid. I feel kind of bad about that, actually. <laughs> because I like Enovid better than Beckett. It's more fun if he gets zero votes and she gets a couple. Seven votes for Nadia. Haha! <laughs> The new Lady of the Keep is Nadia de Montmorency, which is probably not how you pronounce that, but, well, I picked it because it looked cool. <laughs> Here is the Lord's Helm, Lady Nadia de Montmorency. May your reign be long and mostly peaceful. Well, one or the other, really. I suppose it matter. I don't suppose it matters much to me. Well, you know, if it's not peaceful, well, I guess you'll probably die. Ah, oh, that's fair. Thank you for the message, Mr. Krabby. I will look at that later. Now, seeing how Enovid's already the hand, we can save any reappointment of that position for another day. Unless you want to promote her to be your banner, that is. Okay. So, I get to choose my staff. And one of those is a hand, and one of those is a banner. So, let's look at what they do. What does the ro role of the hand entail? The Hand is the commander of the Keep's armies, and next in charge after the Banner. Now that we finally have a Lord and Banner again, the Hand will be able to focus their attention on purely military matters rather than civil ones. What does the role of the Banner entail? The Banner is the highest ranking officer in the Keep and the primary assistant to the Lord. The Banner deals mostly with civil, civic matters and general operations of the Keep, leaving military matters to the Hand, except in times of war. Alright, well, Enovid is a very honorable... <laughs> thank you, thank you. Um, is a very honorable lady who seems to be quite militarily good, but unfortunately not really the best in terms of uh, social matters. And is rather unbending. I think she would make a good hand. Also, I don't really have henchmen that would fit that spot better, so she can run. Now for my banner, there are a lot of people I can choose. I could try to choose the nymph I'm trying to romance, but she'll hate that. <laughs> so I think I'm going to choose my henchman, who is a good Rakshasa. Well, neutral, but still. She seems to have a lot of good ideas for organization. So let's go with Jaboli. I shall do my best to keep order and justice within the keep. I take this duty very seriously. I would not have thought the, of Jaboli for this position, but it could be that you have made a very wise decision. Very well. My last duty is to ask you to speak to Enovid about dealing with the last of the invaders. As Our Lady, you have the right to decide how to use the troops. May the gods grant you wisdom in the choices you make, Lady Nadia. Uh, I'm sad oh, about not I doing the prison. I have a message for you. A very strange message. Alias's face is paler than you remember, and her lips are pursed in a look of bewildered concentration. Uh, what happened? It was Mama Dane. One minute... I called it, by the way. One minute I was chatting with her, and then all of a sudden she began to laugh maniacally. She leaned over and said, Tell my grandchild that the throne is not secure until the Illithid is dead. I asked her who she meant, but she just winked and pointed towards the castle. Then she suddenly stood up straight, and her body changed. She grew young and beautiful, and she had wings. As she flew away, she cried, Tell Nadia to look for me when the battle is won. That must be the same woman Garrett told me about. Oh, I didn't think she, you would have a clue of what she was talking about. I'm impressed. As she floated away, 
I heard her laugh and say, Oh, Nadia, you are everything I hoped for. And then some. All I sensed was a strong desire to see you on the throne of the keep, Nadia. I have no idea if she had plans beyond that. There was always something unnatural about that woman, yet it seemed ridiculous to mention it at the time. Now I wish I had. Be careful, Nadia. Mama Dane wanted you to become Lady of the Keep. She must have something planned. I will remain here in case you need me to take you anywhere else. Congratulations, my lady. I always have faith in you. Okay. So let's talk to Enavid. Good day. How may your faithful servant help you? Have you decided how you wish to deal with the invaders? Well, I think I'm going to tell her that I have evidence that my rival tried to have me assassinated. Despite the amount of energy I've spent trying to drive such activities out of our lands, assassinations do occur, though rarely. Do you have evidence tying Sir Beckett to this note, my lady? I cannot make an arrest without something more than an unsigned note. This isn't enough? I fear it is not. Without something to show evidence that Sir Beckett actually did write this note, I cannot arrest him. Are you ready to deal with the invaders now? Not yet. I shall wait your orders then. Can I, t can I turn in any other quests now? Probably not, unfortunately. I d didn't think I could before, but I want to try it anyway, because I'm annoyed and I want to finish my quests. Damn it, let me finish my quests. They're here. They're done. I just want to report in. The Stan is pleased to see you. Uh, I hope the miners I sent to clear the tunnels out are doing their jobs properly. Uh, best of luck. Actually, I already turned in his, as I recall, anyway. But still. Damn it. <laughs> Damn. Jerks. Alright. Eh, I might as well talk to her about the invaders. Good day. Alright, you... ready to take action. I've set the miners to open a shaft down to where we believe the armies are hidden. But how shall we deploy the military? Hmm. Nope. <laughs> did I plant my tree? I did not, Rashke. I I think I missed my chance to do that. Unfortunately. I mean, there was some flirtatious banter, and uh, Jaboli called Kaidala out on wanting to be with me forever, and I flirted with her, but I did not get the acorn. Did I miss my chance to now that the election's passed? Because I'm really sad about that. I think I could go a little farther back, maybe. Hmm. That's fair. You don't know. Fair enough, fair enough. Well, we'll just continue then. Might as well. <laughs> it's alright. Enough attraction was was expressed that I have faith that even if we don't get to plant a tree this time around, that sometime in the future we'll get to plant a tree. So do I want to send the armies to, or send my, the military to go fight the armies, or do I want them to protect the keep? You know what? I'm a protagonist. I'm going to uh, hunt the invaders myself. If you think you're up to the challenge, then that is probably the best decision. When you return, the keep will be safe and secure. Something I could not guarantee with fewer men. May Jace watch over you in your adventures. Eh, let's give it a shot. <laughs> I think I can... S I can't turn in any more quests, I know that. But I think I can still do the second of the stands quest because I got that before. I just can't turn it in. But maybe that'll give me a little more experience, which would be very helpful. Ah, <laughs> uh, alas... I, I picked my quests poorly, I think, and didn't... That's okay. That's alright. Sometimes, sometimes we love and it's not enough for not fast. Very good. Things are coming along quite nicely. Soon you shall... I was gonna choose. What do I want? <laughs> Alex, let's shove some acid on the sword. <laughs> Make the sword happy. Hmm. Oh well. I can't do the prison now. Because if I go there, they'll just congratulate me. Well, maybe I can. It is, but I I feel like... I mean, I love the politics. I love the setups. But I feel like limiting the quests the way they do 
it's just it's limiting and it bothers me because there's really not it's like artificially artificial replay value so that bugs me a bit see i hope to serve you well lord of cyan yeah i can't really do anything after this maybe i can still fight stuff i'll have to give it a shot So, not much I can do with that. No, damn it. Can't fight it. All right. Can't get the key from him anymore. Ah. All right. Well, I do want to go the long way to a few places. So, let's see. <laughs> this way. I don't think I've been over here. Not much I can do with that. Huh. Rats. Well, let's see if any of the NPCs have things to say to me before the final battle. Or possibly I can go rescue some cows. I don't know if it'll let me do it now that the, uh... Uh, nope. I just, I just did the election. So, I'm, I'm wandering about before I go fight the illithid. So maybe I'll be able to do something or other. I just had the reveal that Mama Does Dane the day is... favor you, Lord of the Keep? Ah. Allow me to be of some assistance. Rats. She's got nothing to say about the new reveals? Of course she doesn't. She's useless. Alright. Meh. Okay. So yeah, I've not done any anything since the election. I've just redone the election. I actually got two votes at once, and the last vote would be, uh... I did manage to unhaunt my house, so that was good. But... But yeah, unfortunately I didn't plan things very well, and I got too many votes before I went out to the, to the dungeons and such. <laughs> oh well. It's not... I really like politics. <laughs> All right, so let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Not much. I oh, there was something I wanted to do. I wanted to see if I could get rid of this fucking thing right here. So let me go find the priest. So is there, like, an event that triggers the whole acorn conversation? <laughs> Not that it'll do my much good now, but still. <laughs> I think what I really should have done, if I were going to maximize this, is I should have done the Stan's quest first. And then I could have gotten his other quests. And that would have at least put me a little farther up. But it is what it is. Nice talk to Dineskill. Hello to you. I wanted you to heal me, you fucking asshole. What good are you? Will you heal me? I see you have returned. Oops, I was gonna ask her a question. I, and I forgot. see you. All right, no. Hmm. That's fair. That's fair between banters could be because I got I did too many of the uh, local quests before going out there I probably didn't good get day banters. my lord how may I help you today oh. well I can get to the shop but I can't get anyone to to uh, restore my stupid strength modifier ah well I'm not gonna worry about it Oh, did she say... I mean, I think I wandered into the grove, but I didn't... I might not have done anything there. So, well, I can go look for the grove now, see if that'll do anything. <laughs> Why not? We'll give it a shot. I usually don't fuck up the romances, though, so I'm kind of annoyed at myself. 
I'm usually quite good at those sorts of things. I'm f I like getting my characters laid. Even if it is symbolically with a tree. Wait, that came out wrong. Oh well. Anyway, anyway, because I don't have this on a timer yet, I am going to remind folks that I am going to be streaming for a charity thing on Tuesday for Stream for a Cause. If you'd like to know about Stream for a Cause, I have a bot that can tell you a little bit about it. See? Woo! And if you'd like to make a donation prior to the charity event, you can do so there. So, <laughs> no worries. Anyway. It's quite nice for me because I don't know very much about individual charities. So I like the idea of uh, donating donating to an organization that provides grants to a wide variety. And the lesser known nonprofits that don't get a lot of attention, those are always nice. So, let's see what we have here. What's that? Hermit's Grove. Oh, is that what I was supposed to find? <laughs> Maybe this is what I was supposed to find. In, in which case, no, I had not found the grove. I feel rather silly. I was using the teleporter all along. I didn't realize there was something to actually fucking find. Well, this place is pretty. There are beehives here. Not much I can do with that. Ow. <laughs> well, the bees don't like me. Let's talk about well, her. Hello there. Uh, the odd, wild-eyed man with bees swarming around his body uh, looks at you warily. You're here to steal my honey, aren't you? That's it. Must be. Wait, no. The voice. It said she would come. Oh, that's a good recommendation. Doctors Without Borders. Um... Impeccable reputation, but not much on marketing. That's a good, no good option. There's something wrong with this poor man, Nadia. If you could convince him to calm down, I might be able to help him. The voice in my head. Never a good sign. It said, it said, wait, who are you? If you've come to steal my honey, you're in for a t some serious trouble. Who did the voice send me? Uh, my name is Nadia de Montmorency. Oh, well then, that's the name the voice gave me. My apologies, it's just that someone has been bothering my bees and stealing my honey. Well, I did click the box, so... I've grown a touch suspicious of strangers. But that is no none of your trouble. Please, come into my home. Or I can make you some tea with honey. Or you can have some wonderful honey mead. Uh, tell me your troubles. No, well, maybe over a pint of mead. Shall we go inside? Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> Excellent. I haven't had a visitor in a long while. Follow me, please. Please don't con just congratulate me for becoming Lord of the Keep. <laughs> Please don't do that. I did not even know this thing existed. Did I find you too late? I might have that found you too late. That man was passing straight. If you could pause for just a moment, I would like to speak to you, my friend. She's the one who's always speaking with me. Okay. You have something to say? I find I'm still shaken from the suddenness of our deaths and our return to life. I am pleased that I'm not dead. I wonder what the price might be from our lives. Okay, yeah, I definitely should have explored this much earlier. Uh, well, the thought, same thought crossed my mind. I think we should watch what happens and see how much this power expects to guide our actions. Well, so far he's just basically wanted me to put, to make him hit things harder, so. If we test the limits, we might find out how much control it really has. How do we test the limits? Don't push too hard, but when we're being guided, perhaps try to make a choice that's not obvious. Until we're in a specific situation, I can't say exactly. I'll try to suggest something when we have the opportunity. Until then, we should be going. Okay. Hi. Did you call? Nah, we're done talking. No, nothing else. I did get a chance to say my character's not interested in men, and that's helpful. And Kaidalib was interested in that. But I'm sad. Well, hello there! The hermit sips his glass of honey mead and looks at you with a startled expression. Who are you? What do you think you're doing in here? Kaidal closes her eyes. There's something unnatural in that drink. I'm not sure what, but I suspect that's where the hermit's problems stem from. Oh, poor guy's being drugged. 
You have come to steal my honey, haven't you? You, you look familiar. Did I catch you stealing my honey before? It's not technically a lie. He said that my the voice sent me. <laughs> oh, well. We just met outside. You invited me in. Did I? What a strange thing. I'm sure I must have a reason. That did not come up. I did not have that option, no. I am very sad that that was not an option, because that sounds like a very entertaining dialogue option. I don't believe I told her I'm a stallion. I do know one of the banters, Jabuli accused her of wanting to sleep with me, so that part was good. Uh, the voice sent me, remember? The voice. Oh, yes, the voice. I was supposed to welcome you, make you feel comfortable. Right, well, welcome. Make yourself comfortable. Oh, it's so hard to get comfortable these days. I need to go to the keep and sell some honey, but I can't go near people right now, even just having you here. It scares me. Uh, have another drink of honey mead. The hermit sips his glass of honey mead and looks at you with a startled expression. Who are you? What do you think you're doing in here? Okay, starts the honey mead. Yes. All right, well, we got that part. Go here. All right. So there's something wrong with with your drink. Good hermit, look at me. Look past the scars and you'll see my nature. Mighty lady, you are a nymph. What are you doing in this land? Are you here to establish a sacred grove? Oh, did I say that? I don't recall if I said that. I'd like to think I said that, but I'd have to go back and see the VODs, because now I'm remembering a conversation. Oh, you know, it would suck if I miss, if I just picked the wrong darn answer, wouldn't it? Well, I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Alright, are you here to establish a sacred grove? Nay, good hermit. My journey with Nadia is not of that nature. You must listen to what I say. Something is poisoning your honey and causing your mind to be weakened. We will help you. This is true. But a creature such as yourself would have no reason to lie to a druid. It must be so. I recently added a new hive. The one on the far left is new. I will speak to the bees and ask them not to harm you. Please do. Let us go quickly, Nadia. Who knows how long this poor man's mind will be with us. Let's discover what poisons the sweet honey. Hmm. I don't remember if I said that. Hmm. <laughs> I'm going to be so sad if I missed out. Well, that's alright. It is what it is. All right, so now let's have a look. Oh, a poison blade. Let's take that fucking thing. Do we just go back and talk to him? Let's go back and talk to him. I feel like... <laughs> I feel like I would have picked that because it's funny, but I don't know. Maybe I was... Uh, I found so, an option that works better. It is a funny op dialogue option, though. <laughs> uh, well, I found this dagger. That that looks like a blade of an assassin. I wonder what it's doing in an old crate in the forest. I guess it doesn't matter. But you can keep the blade. I'm sure it's worth quite a bit. Here's some honey from one of my good hives. But I grow more tired by the hour, so forgive me. I must bid you goodbye. Well, I'm glad to get the XP. I did not know this area even existed. Goodness. I'm usually far more thorough. I guess I was I was too too interested in the politics part that I just like completely ignored exploration. Well, that's my own damn fault, isn't it? Okay. Well, I definitely know if I were to replay this, I would do the stands Sarah's quest and the stands quest first, then try to do everything local in different the, in different areas, or then do all the Emerald Hills but not turn it in, and then try to do it in the different areas. I guess maybe. I don't know. I think the nobleman the quest would be kind of tricky to time it right. Maybe. Hmm. I can't believe that quest I had to I had basically had to convince the lady to to take back the guy who slept with her sister. It's like really. Yeah, okay, she left you for some guy, but you don't fuck her sister, dude. That's just like no. No. Oh. One of the many reasons I could never stand Oliver Queen and Arrow. You don't sleep with someone's sister. It's just not appropriate. There are like 15 billion other women. You don't sleep with someone's sister. 
Smart. So I did find a grove, that was kind of cool. Did you call? Is there something? Ah, oh, damn. I was hoping I could talk about the druid. The druid is nice. I like the druid. Alright, so let's go to the Emerald Hills. Oh wait, 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 there were people to talk to that I missed. I saw people and then I wandered off. <laughs> I have no attention span. Who are you people? Well met. Two identical female elves stand here amidst a caravan that seems to es have escaped the invading army's notice. One begins, good day to you. Then the other finishes, stranger, would you be interested in purchasing some of our goods? Most are in perfect condition, though there might be some smoke damage. What do you say? Who are you? I'm Eleanor Kynthalus, Merchant Wizard, and this is my sister, Alexis Kynthalus, Merchant and Scout. We own this modest enterprise you see here. I have some questions for you. We are always happy to answer any questions a customer might have. How did you avoid the monsters that attack the keep? I am well versed in magical arts, and we were able to make our entire caravan invisible when I was scouting and saw the rounded army fleeting the keep. That's a powerful spell. No, I just keep a number of scrolls with the globe of invisibility spells on them. For just such an occasion. So, why didn't you help instead of hiding? We're not that powerful, and without solid walls to retreat behind, we would have been easy prey. Better to just be invisible. Did you have other questions? Uh, why do you finish each other's sentences? They both giggle. <laughs> it's just something we started when we were just children. Our parents hated it, but after doing it for years... I think I got used to it, and so did we. What brought you this far north? Our goods are always welcome here, since many people in the north think of the south as the only place to get real civilized goods. We've done a brick trade with our dyes and exotic materials, but I think now we will have to wait until the invaders are stopped before continuing on to the keep. Do you need any help? I think we should be alright as the monsters don't come back. Thank you for asking, though. That's all my questions. Would you like to purchase some of our goods, kind madam? Sure, why not? We have a variety of goods brought all the way from the civilized southern cities. Let's take a look. Civilized southern cities is very difficult for me to say. <laughs> Fucking list. Ooh. Light gems. More shit. <gasps> Wish I'd known about them earlier in the game. <laughs> also this this is lovely I do not regret the uh, and turning this in this was the last quest I turned in I could have uh, I could have I basically had the choice between um, that one or getting the manticore cloak because oh this thing resurrection one use per day squee for the L lady Rahan's mirror I had the choice of reporting in on one quest, so it was either that or the Manticore Cloak. I wanted the Manticore Cloak, but that's better. I do believe that. Alright, let's see. Anything else? No, I think I'm okay. I mean, I'm low level and probably gonna die, but that's okay. I got a bag of holding. <laughs> that's, that was the other squee. I'm always happy to have a bag of holding. Okay. Anyway, let's see what we have to go on here. I'm gonna basically just try to knock down that fucking Elithid till he dies. But, alright. So theoretically, I think I can go into the Kobold Caves because I accepted that quest bef right before the election and then didn't have a chance to complete it. So, I wonder if I could actually do that. Oh. Alright, where are you fuckers? <sighs> You're somewhere. Oh, there you are. Okay. Yeah, all right. Fucker. Hi, kobolds. You're adorable. I would not kill you if I had the option because you are cute. But oh, well. yeah, yeah. There you go. Okay, let's 
go kill these guys. Hi. Welcome. Ah, thank you. My nymph girlfriend. Cast heal on me. I appreciate that. Alright. Money! But I probably don't need now that I'm a lady of a keep, but I guess you never really know. Might need money. Splint now. I am weighted down too heavily, I fear. Well, this was a convenient choice, wasn't it? <laughs> Alright. Actually, shouldn't I have that in my offhand? Let's put that in my offhand. There we go. All right, all right. Oh, I'm popular today. One second. Hmm. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, let's see. So, nature cries for your blood. That is a pretty good battle cry, I have to admit. Hi. Okay, I probably should try not to die, huh? Getting killed by goblins is kind of embarrassing. You must fall for the greater good. Alright. So there, I think, are the elliptic caves. I don't want to go in them yet. <laughs> I'm going to wander around and see if there are more things for me to kill. To get at least a little bit more. I should ask uh, Death will take one of us. If there is a grove that I'm supposed to find, did I find it or is or was that a different grove? <laughs> Cuz I'm sad. Oh well. I should I shouldn't dwell on it. We can make it I can make it a challenge and try it later. It's up here. Can I get up here? No. No. All right. All right. I think this is I should have picked the Dwerger one actually. I feel like that one might have been a bit more eventful. It's alright. This is not fair that I don't get to do the rest of the stands quests because I'm an idiot. Where's this thing? And a wolf. I will strike you down or fall in the attempt. <laughs> so what is this thing? Can I poke it? It's pretty. Oh, follow the river? Okay. I can do that. down here. That's 
a pretty river. This is quite nice. Not much I can do with that. Okay. Hmm. Wait, what's that thing? Remains. Okay. Let's let's loot the remains. Oh hey. Never a bad thing to have extra that. Okay. Hmm. Oh, go back? Oh, okay. <laughs> Going back. Down this way? Oh, other way? Okay. <laughs> I think there might be some lag. <laughs> okay, I'm at a crystal. Should I go north, south, east, or west? Did you call? Is there something I can do for you, friend? Ah, you're fine. Anything? How is everything? That's fair. Hi, Mr. Yurik. I'm doing well. Um, Rashke is being my Cyrano de Bergerac. I think that's how you pronounce that. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. And helping me uh, belatedly romance a, a nymph, if it's at all possible. So east. This way? Oh! I did not find this area, as is ob obvious. How am I? Well, I'm doing quite well. I have found a grove. Maybe I should have found this grove earlier. There's a lot of things I clearly should have done earlier. Oh, there's a raven. Can I talk to the raven? The bird is too busy hunting for food that might scurry or hop around the ground to really pay much attention to me. Okay, so I follow the river east. Okay. Alright. Sorry, I got distracted by a thing. Oh, there's a dirt patch. The stag arches his neck and gazes at you with a quiet nobility. Alright. This is a patch of rare, rich earth. Leave it alone. Okay. Well, I don't think she's feels ready to plant an acorn with me. That makes me sad, but that's okay. pretty cool though. Now I know there is a grove. Alright. Well, let's go see a bunch of kobolds. Oh, another unmarked e exit. Hmm. Well, that sounds promising. Maybe I will go there soon. Or maybe I'll go there now. Got nothing better to do. Considering fucking alias can't turn in my quests. Why? They, they should at least let us do finish the quests after the election. I don't mind the time limit for the election in terms of getting votes, but I'd like to be able to turn in the and get the rewards after. That would make me happy. Oh, fucking goblins. Where the hell are you? There. Oh, there you are. Did you just kill my Surrender, boar, you fuckers? Or prepare to meet your end. Oh great, I'm gonna die again. Ah, justice guide my attack. I have to admit though, uh, Nadia loses concentration a lot less easy than uh, 
what's his face did? Fenthic. Fenthic always lost concentration. He lost concentration with like a, a fucking bird flew over his head. Clearly that man had undiagnosed ADHD. I suppose. I mean, I, I like the thought of trying to get all the votes as a challenge. I just wish you could finish the quest Death afterwards. Take you full. So that you get the challenge part of doing it all beforehand, but still get to, like, you know, the resolution. Or at least get rid of these fucking quests if I can't complete them. It's like, put them into into the closed quest pile that's like, you became Lady of the Keep anyway, so you can't do these now. Because otherwise it's just annoying. Uh, actually, let's rest. I want my spells back. Oh shoot! Are you guys carrying shit? Did I never sell your sh your crap? No, you're fine. She might be carrying shit. I don't know that, but that's okay. All right, so let's see if I can find that unmarked exit. And maybe stall for time enough that uh, my nymph will start talking to me. <laughs> I admit to fucking nothing. Alright, so I'm gonna guess that one as an unmarked exit. It kinda looks like it could be one. Oh, you're right, there we go. Benthic had a hot drow, you know how it goes. He was a bit too distracted. Ah, oh. Daniel's headstone. Where's Daniel? The white side of Dan was kind and cheery, but the dark side did something make him dreary, and was twas determined a mistake he made. Into this coffin his corpse was laid. As a spirit still here tarries, do be kind and bring him berries. Cory's headstone. Cory May was a sweet-natured fay until a very disturbing day, when all grew dark and the great lord did frown and with a callous gesture did set her down. But from the grave she still gives power, and all it costs is a single flower. Do I have anything like that? I don't think I do. I do have honey though? I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do with honey. Huh. Okay. Got this thing. What the hell is this thing? Wait, when did I get that thing? The leather mask scowls at you. You're not entirely sur sure when w or where you acquired it. But it seems to have been in your pack for some time. Where the fuck did I get that thing? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm actually serious. When the hell did that thing show up? Was it like something I got when I won the election? Oh, damn berries, right? Well, that one guy wanted berries, yeah? And that looks like ivy. What can I do with fucking ivy? Oh, flower. Okay, well, let's see what happens. Alright. You want a berry. Where's my berry? You're a berry. To do anything? Not really. Okay. I guess you can keep it anyway. She wanted a flower. Oh well. Oh, cool. Got a helm. And a cloak. Well, that was kind of you. Oh, that poor kitty. That poor, poor kitty. Are you being cruel to her? Or him? Oh, wow. That's nice. Let's take that thing. Okay, so I got a adamantine helm. Dan's helm does what? Ooh. Well, that's nice. What does this one do? Eh, not terrible. Um, what does the Lord's helm do? Aside from look really stupid. Oh. Well. I can't think of anything I need persuade for right now, but... You know, let's look hot. Hello, William Barty. Yeah, that that does seem seem like her fault a little bit. <laughs> My cat still won't let me quite near her, but she has come out a lot more, which I'm quite happy about. Oh, uh, 
What are you guys trying to kill? Oh, a bear. Okay. Nature cries for your blood. So, she's been sneaking around. I caught her in my uh, ceiling again um, yesterday. Oh shit! I lost my fucking mage. On the plus side, I've got a free resurrection now, so I might as well fucking use it, huh? Okay, that. Please don't kill her. Oh, they got a free resurrection. I intend to use it, but... Hey, stop killing her. Whoa. Bear. Alright. Back when I had limited resurrection, I, w I would always reload when they die. This works, though. Hi. You back? Glad to see it. Alright. All right. Well, I definitely like the free, f free magic items. So thank you for the heads up. I was not a very thorough explorer in this game. I'll have to remember to be uh, more so in the future. Because I feel like I've been slacking. Goodness. Well, I'm glad to have found that grove, even if nothing happened with it. Ah, off to buy frozen pizza. Good luck, good luck. Surrender. If uh, if my nymph ever does give me an acorn, I will try to give for your blood. I hope I didn't miss this shot. It doesn't seem like it should be uh something determined by uh quest projection or barred by quest uh, continuation, right? Uh, maybe. Oh, what's in there? Bearskin down. I don't know, every time I see the word bearskin, I think of uh, the golden vanity. Don't know why. Not much I can do with that. Ah. Alright. Well, I guess I've done what I can do here. But that is very cool. Thank you for the heads up. Hello, Forel. How are you? I saw you were playing Persona earlier. I hope you were having quite... What the fuck? My bear has an orbit. <laughs> anyway, I hope you were having fun. For Pride Month, I am playing... Have someone petrified in that circle? That would be fun. Oh, you got you locked yourself out of your house. Oh, I don't like when that happens. Is there? S I hope there's someone else that has a key that can let you in. Or are you still outside? Cause um, I don't know if I can really help. Oh, good. That's that's a relief. I'd hate to think you were stuck outside. Fucking kobolds. Nature cries for your blood. You must fall for the greater good. One of those days, though. I, I feel you, though. Are you fucking done, you guys? Every single time I go here, you try to kill me. And it never ends well. Oh, now she's a wolf. Good for her. She seems to be having fun. Alright. Let's see, what haven't I done? I think I can do the kobold caves because technically speaking I accepted that quest before the election results came in. I don't think I can turn in the quest, but I still think I can go to it, and I'm gonna. Unless what's her name decides to like finally let me romance her. <laughs> Nature cries for your blood! I gotta keep massacring go goblins, really. I mean, don't get me wrong, it is kind of fun, but it always feels vaguely unnecessary. They're goblins. Look at them. Nature cries for your blood. Come on. 
<laughs> Petrified in the circle of four stones. Oh, that is a good idea, Sir Yurik. Make it very decorative. Maybe I'll do that when, now that I'm Lady of the Keep. It'll be my ex execution method. Hi. Alright. Oh, yeah, that, that, that would make me very panicked, too. But I'm glad you got in. Found a book on the... Why would the goblins have a book of, of Luskin's Arcane Brotherhood? Sometimes randomized treasure is weird as fuck. <laughs> All right. All these fucking bear skins I got. And wolf skins. Wild animals do not like me. Hmm. Well, <laughs> I am definitely glad you made it back inside for all. Being outside is fun for like Stardew Valley, not for real life. Speaking of, I think it's now a really good time, and it's not really speaking of, but um, I can't, I fail at transitions to show off the bot that I have now. As I was saying before, I will be doing a charity uh, thing for, or taking part in the indie, Queer Indie Games Showcase on Tuesday this week. And, um, it, we are collecting for um, for stream for a cause, so you can see a little bit about that there. And if you'd like to donate, here's this. Oh gosh, yeah, it's really when you look at how long it takes for emergency services. Sometimes it is really disheartening. It's like it's an emergency. Uh, kind of need to be quicker than that, right? I had an old apartment complex where the fire alarm would go off for like very little provocation and I mean I, I get that the police that the local fire department folks they probably knew that so they were never terribly enthusiastic about getting to the to our complex just to you know determine that someone made brownies at three in the morning not that I'd ever done that and by made brownies I mean reheated Domino's cookie brownie in the microwave at too high of a uh, temperature at three in the morning and but it took them forever to get there it was, it was crazy. Oh, who are you? A rather sickly and emaciated kobold walks t toward you, sniffing the air. Grr, you comes bringing gifts? You bring honey for us? Yep. He smells honey on you, yep. You gives to us and then we feed you, like we agreed. Uh, why the interest in honey? Honey set kobold's mind free, yep. Kobolds gain big thoughts with honey help. There be nothing like honey. Uh, who's your agreement with? Yep, with the master. Of course. Who's the master? Yep, you not know his master, you be intruder. Grr. Me not care if you give us this honey. You get honey. Uh, here, take it. Yep, yep. Me takes a chair, honey, with all kobolds. Yep, you go find food myself. Okay. So I probably should have lied to him. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Hold on a sec. Let me lie down better next time. Okay. Oh, you've got your alarm set up, and someone tried to make deep fried fries at 4 a.m. while high in the winter. Yeah, I feel your friend. I was not high, I was just hungry and insomniac. My neighbors were very kind, <laughs> I will say that. Far nicer to me than being woken up uh, when they were deserved. Okay, uh, here, take it. Okay, I gotta go find food anyway. Well, let's go find food. Uh, nobody's hostile. That's good. Need your honey out foot. Yep, me lick it off. Aw. Come 
Those are so cute. I'm glad I don't have to kill them. On the other hand, I'm not going to be able to turn in this quest, and that's going to be annoying. But it is what it is. Leading stupid beasts around? This is not a noble task for such as us. Yeah, yeah. But I'm still also trying to stall to see if my uh, girlfriend will finally hit on me. Look at ants. Yet, that moves. They'd be so funny. We want more honey now. Yep. Go support. It's actually grain. Ooh, grain. Let's do some grain. I don't know what to do with the grain, but you know. Seems like a idea. Yeah, I learned my lesson. Don't don't reheat things in a microwave at three at three in the morning. Just in case. Okay. This seems like the sort of place people would hide cows, right? Oh no, just the chief. Okay. Well, let's talk to the chief. Hello. Yep, that'd be so good, honey. Grr, me needs more soon. I had no idea this was even an option. So that's very funny. So. Cobalt's that cute, though. I would probably get more experience by massacring them, but I'm also not evil, so... Ah, chickens. That's good to know. The chicken pecks around your boots, largely ignoring your presence. Oh yeah, that's a good idea then. I mean, uh, the, the window thing seems like a... Not not a great thing to have going on, but uh, a fire rope ladder does sound like a, a good idea. Just uh, hopefully no one else knows about it. Oh, cows! I found the cows. Hi. The cow gazes at you with simple, even stupid apathy. Should I be rude to the cows? Now, what can I do with the cows? Can I nudge them? I have grain. Use. Here. Yeah. Cow. Me. Holy shit. Okay. Well, this is fun. Just call me Hermes and I'm gonna steal your cow. Come on. Amazing. Come on, guys. Do I have all of you? Let's play Skyrim. I'm holding hay. Please follow me. Okay. Oh, that's fair. That's fair. Oh, cool. Getting the chickens too. Awesome. Okay, let's keep this going. God, I feel like I'm in Final Fantasy XIV doing those fucking escort leave quests. Uh oh, I think I lost them. I wandered too far ahead. Oh, look, there's no more cows. Fuck. Ah, uh, fuck. Let's go get the cows. Gotta walk backwards, cause fucking Beckon only works so far. Come on, cows. Come on, cows. Thank you. Come on, cows. It's been pretty good, aside from the fact that I'm fucking dealing with cows. Come on, cows. Come on. I'm gonna have to use the keyboard commands just so I can keep you fuckers following me. Eight. Eight escort missions. Eight these. Come on. Get over here, you little idiots. 
on. Hate fucking cows. If it were up to me, I'd make you all hamburgers right now. Come on. Not that I can tell. Uh, I think I gotta do this the difficult way. The asshole way. Come on, cows. Come on, everybody. I hate all of you fuckers. I hope you are all dinner. This is why I'm a carnivore. Utmost respect to vegan folks, but uh, no. Cows are assholes, and I want to eat them all. I could say it's because I like the taste of meat too much and animal products. But honestly, it's because cows are fucking assholes. It's not actually the reason. It's just I, uh, like me. But utmost respect, as I said. Yeah. Okay, everybody's still coming. I have to turn my screen. All right. Well, good luck. Have a good time. I'm glad you made it inside. I hope uh, hope all goes well. Did I lose all of the cows but one? I did fucking lose all the cows but one. Fucking hell. Get over here, you assholes. This better buy me some time for for my nymph girlfriend and I to consummate things. Because otherwise, I'm going to be pissed. Come on. Where are my cows? There you all fucking are. Come on, guys. Did I lose some cows? There they are. There's three at least. Fuck it, if I lost one, I lost one. <laughs> I hate this fucking game. Come on. There they are. No, I was actually a little worried I'd finish this game too soon, but I don't think that's likely to happen. This is fa gonna fucking take forever. Where are the other cows? There they are. Okay, they are coming. Slowly. Time to put brushes on my feet and walk backwards. How many times can I reference the same myth? A lot, actually, because I don't know any other myths. At least not ones that have to do with stealing cows. Are the others coming, or are they stuck there? Let's go get them. Hi, fuckers. really 
making me hungry. That is probably not psychologically the correct response to the situation. <laughs> I rescued some chickens. Yay! Hey, I got 50 points for each chicken. I guess that's okay. Come on. 100 points for a cow. Did I lose a cow? I think I lost two cows. Let's go find the other cows. Hi. I, I fucking hate this quest, Drashke. Also, I can't turn it in because the stand won't let me anymore, I think. Maybe I can. I should go talk to him. See if I can turn it in. Come on. I think I'm missing a cow. Fucking cow. This is ex this is like those fucking escort quests in Final Fantasy XIV I was bitching earlier. Where you have to, you have to basically walk backwards and keep waving at the NPCs so he comes find you. It's like yes, bitching all the while. It's like God fucking damn it. Keep the fuck up, you fucking. On the plus side, the, I don't have to murder the kobolds, so that's always good. I had honey. <laughs> As it turns out, having the honey was useful. Hi, there you are. I knew I was missing one of you fuckers. Yeah, we're going this way. Come on. Come on. You are a very fucking contrary cow. I'm gonna fucking eat you. Come on. I'm gonna ask your farmer to make a hamburger out of you as my reward. Come on. Oh, cool. Whenever I click it, I'm, l I'm actually leaving those things on the ground, aren't I? That's spectacular. Okay, I didn't actually notice that. Because I'm a fucking idiot. Okay, okay, I see why th how this is working. I have magic grain that, that conjures a bag of grain every time I use it. That's... Okay, cool, cool. I actually didn't realize that's how that worked. But still, very cool. Well, now that I know that that's how that works, I might actually do this better. We'll see. Probably not. I hate your fucking favorite quest, though, Rashke. Just so you know. It is pretty clever, though. It's nice to have one that's a little different than the others. I wonder if the stand will let me turn it in. Probably not, but we'll try it. I ain't got nothing better to do. <laughs> yeah, I, I'd fucking bet. <laughs> oh well. Here we go, here we go. At least I didn't have to murder the kobolds. That honey turned out useful. It's hilarious that I didn't even realize that area, that entire area in front of the keep was an area I could go to. Because <laughs> I'm a moron. Come on, cow. Oh, God. Everything goes. I haven't... I I hadn't played that far in Neverwinter Nights 2, thankfully. Um, but I've, I've seen a couple less plays. So... It does look like fun. I have nothing against it. I'm not tribalist. Well, I'm trying to not use that word because I think it might be a... Of my centric. I'm not loyal to one over the other. All things considered. I'm happy to enjoy both games. Come on. Cow. Fucking hell, cow.
Yay! I rescued all the cows. Can I turn in this quest? Alright, let's go get paid. And maybe the stand will even let me do the other uh, quest. That would be nice. Because I kind of want to have extra experience. Oh, I'm not too far off, even. It would be really nice if I could get some extra experience and then get up a level. Because I'm at level 7. I would like to be level 8. Level 8 sounds nice. Hey, friends. You coming? We will go sell shit. Again? You goblins. You goblins are such a pain in the ass. Really? You know how this is gonna end. You know how this has been ending every time we've walked past you. Do you really think that you want to do this? Really? I am weighted down too heavily. I mean, yes, okay, the clerics in this town are utter to utterly end. useless, but, you know, the rest of the folks are really good. Alright. Thankfully, no more cows. But I'm keeping this magic grain conjuring piece of grain, though. Because I feel like a device that magically creates sacks of grain would be really useful. Does it still work? It does not. Not too bad. It's a good souvenir, though. Alright. Let's see. Hello, friends. Hello, cows. Oxes. Whatever. Beasts of burden. Let's talk to these people who have the best selection of shit. Because they have bags of holding. I wish I knew they were here. Oh, look, it's our friend come back to visit us. How may we help you? Good day, kind madam. Alright, what do you have for some? We have a variety of goods brought all the way from the civilized southern cities. Have a look. Alright. It's Beckett's ring. Yeah. Did I get that? Oh, my word! Ah, uh, mage lady, want a cool dagger? Oh no, you, you're fine. Uh, let's sell this shit though. I mean, that is a nice dagger. Do I want to sell the nice dagger? I kind of do. Oof. The Sophic Society of Assassins have only a single symbol making one of their order. The Athari is a poison dagger that causes a burning sensation when it touches bare skin and drains the strength of those who are injured by it. Whoever left this dagger here belonged to one of the most powerful and deadly organizations in Belratha. Damn. Oh, what's this? Whoa. Bring a fourth shield. Nice. How does that compare with this one? Oh. Oh, I won't have alertness anymore, though. Well, on the other hand, plus two. Except this does stack. And then maybe I'll keep the alertness after all, because it still doesn't stack. Okay, what else can I sell? Let's sell some animal skin. Where did I get this fucking thing? can acquire and sell that dagger before your fir first flight. I have a wolf skin that's applied? Okay. Okay. Yeah, I would bet. I would bet, because that, that thing's fucking expensive. It's quite nice. Uh, who knows if I need that. Definitely need that. Okay. 
So, anything I can use? Probably. Anything I'm gonna use? Yeah, probably not. Might be more of those. Just in case. What's the name runs out? Good to know for next time. <laughs> I had no idea they this area even existed, because I'm dumb. Alright, well let's go see if this den will give me something. Probably not, he's probably just going to congratulate me on my shit and leave me to suffer, but maybe, maybe. Let's see. You guys coming? Thank you. This is a nice keep. Alright. Still mad that I didn't go down the prison. Should have gone down the prison. Hi, the Stan. The Stan is pleased to ah. see you. I hope the miners I sent to clear the tunnels out. We just want to turn in the quest, you asshole. Oh well. Here's what it is. I tried and the door's locked because I didn't get the key from him before. I, I said I'd do something else or come back so I didn't get the key to open the door. And now he won't give me the thing. They're too busy kissing my ass. Yeah, I think so. I'll try again just to be sure, but... See? I hope to serve you well, Lord of. You can serve me by giving me the fucking Hello. key. And welcome to. I had to pull back. There were too many of them. We're stripped by a huge hobgoblin. Well, I'm happy to help you if you let me in, you fuckers. Uh, I did things. I did things wrong. I should have done this. I was all, I'll go explore other places, and then promptly started getting fucking votes. Not much I can do with that. See? Mm. Yeah, it's a shame. Oh well, I guess I'll go fight an illithid. Hey, when I when I kill the illithid, will it end the game? Or will I be able to do some things before reporting in? Because I feel like that might be my only shot of getting the fucking acorn. <laughs> Oh well, that's alright. If I miss the acorn, I miss the acorn. Ah, not fair. Not fair. Oh well, it is what it is. You can always try to play it again. Alright, let's go anyway. I, sh I should have done the prison because it doesn't look like the prison would have got me a vote. Except maybe the uh, thief dude. Hindsight's twenty twenty. I have a big fight to get through first. Well, that'll be nice. Still won't let me plant the uh, acorn, though. Really, guys, I don't want to kill you. You're small and cute. Oh, I did level up though. Nice. Okay. <laughs> I'll take it. Fuck. Okay. Okay, well. 
Justice guide my attack. Walk through town with the new level? Sure, why not? <laughs> Give it a shot. See if that works. Yeah. Maybe I just need to be more badass. Very good. Things are coming along quite nicely. All right, what powers can I choose? All right. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, sorry. I'm ready. What do I want? Damage bonus? Fire and cold? Eh. On hit? Poison and confuse? Special. Heal light wounds or cure poison. No, let's confuse people. It'll be fun. Most people get confused just by smelling your breath. I will try to emulate that. Alright, so what do you look like now? My dear. Well, that's pretty fancy. Okay. Alright, let's try walking through town. Maybe my nymph will finally like me. Maybe not. I don't want to fight the Illithid. I don't want to move on with the plot. I'd fight the Illithid if it meant I could move on with the plot, but not. Alas. It's alright. It's alright. Nadia just has no game. That's the problem. No game. This is not a woman of the game. Let's go to the tavern. The mossy trees seems like a good place to romance a uh, nymph, right? I feel like it is. Sir Curtis the Bard. Hello, Sir Curtis the Bard. Ah. Right, I was gonna go see the smithy. And I promptly left at the exit that was far away from the smithy. Of course I did. Why wouldn't I have done that? Talk to me. Please let me hit on you. No? Okay. Okay. Alright, what do we got here? I would like to see your goods. Alright, he likes me. That's good. Oh. What's this do? Spell resistance. And it's got charges for some reason. That's a little weird. Ah. It's not a very good shield, actually. Maybe I can get a better one. Or maybe this is a good shield. Might be a good shield. That's a better shield. Should I get the mirror shield, do you think? I am fighting an Olithid. And Olithids like magic, don't they? Alright, let's sell that. get the nicer shield. There we go. Ooh. Do rather like that. So I can knock things down better. And finally... Ooh. Well, I do not have enough for those things, do I? Plus four. Plus three. Nice. 
Nice. Alright, do I have anything else I'm willing to sell? I could sell either of those, really. Except I kind of want to keep the haste stuff. That's not like you sell, though. What are you? Is that enough? Not quite, shit. Okay. Or all right, feels better armored. So even if no progression happens in other directions, I am at least better armed. <laughs> work out some of my fr frustration. I didn't see that coming. That makes me laugh. Yep, Nadia's gonna have to work out some of th that frustration. Look, all she wants to do is plant an acorn. Oh, wrong direction. All she wants to do is plant an acorn with you, lady. Come on. Isn't that all anyone really wants to do with their significant others, is plant an acorn? That's going to be a euphemism I use a lot nowadays. Until I forget about it. In which case, God willing, I'll replace it with another euphemism. All right, well, let's go visit the house. Let's go see how it looks without the ghost haunting it. Because I exercised the ghost by getting her sister laid. With the dude that was a dick to her. Because why not? Hi. There, everything seems to be in order. Is there something I can help you with? Where's the history of this place? Alright, blah blah blah. I've already gone through these. Much better now, and she rests in peace. Okay, that's nice. Well, it is a nice house. Look at it, it's all pretty. Yeah, I know, but... <laughs> I feel like she had an option that's not dude who decided to bang her sister and be mean to her and cause her sister suicide. I mean, I do feel like Jackass 1 versus Jackass 2, she probably had a better options. It still annoys me that to resolve the ghost issue, I ended up matching them up. Dude was a dillweed. Still. That's pretty. <laughs> I still have that fucking great axe on the floor. Why not? Why not? Alright. I think... I think... Yeah, that's true. That's true. Uh, I think poor Kaidala is just not that into me. I suppose I should just move on with the plot. So if I happen to be in the final dungeon and she brings up acorns, I'm fucking leaving that final dungeon. It's good to see that we have a lord who cares about the little people. I mean, I guess. I just try and give votes. Hello. It's a sad day when a commoner like yourself can meet a noble like Sir Beckett, isn't it? Hello. Oh, can I talk to Lord Beckett now that I've fucked him over? Let's find out. Beckett Manor. No, it's alright, it's alright. I may have missed my shot, it's a reason to replay. I probably didn't trigger the events soon enough. It is alright, it is alright. I wanna look around his, his shit though. Now I'm gonna rob him. Him blind. 
Still, there was enough to you that there were to establish a mutual attraction. I feel like that's that's still significant. All right, does he have shit that I can look at? I suppose I suppose I can do that. <laughs> I don't know. There's something funny about the nymph beating the shit out of a that's desk. That's taken care of. Thank you. Let's see what's in the desk. A note. Oh. I think I've got evidence now. Let's go talk to Enovid. I think I've got evidence. Of what's his name trying to kill me. It, and I have his money. Hey, Della. Are you okay? Did you call? You're just running around. Is there something I? Okay. Bye. No. All right. Let's go see if this half of a note will be enough to prove Becca's guilt to Enovid. Yeah, Jubilee's fun. She is. I like her a lot. The way rat's cute, though. Alright. May Jace watch over you in your adventure. Ah! May Jace watch over you in... Ah! Alright, well, I'm not going through all that again. I guess we're just gonna have to go. I have been told to take you to the caves where the miners have cleared a tunnel to the enemy's army. Are you ready to go? What's known about these caves? Not very much. It seems like the enemy has used some old abandoned mines and had some excavation done to house the army. When you begin to explore the caves and wreak havoc on parts of the army, the enemy can collapse the tunnels leading to his main base. That's all I know. Still ready to go then? Yeah, sure, why not? Well, here we are. This is as far as I go. I can remain here and help you get back to town, or I can just return to the keep. Which would you prefer? I can find my own way back. So I'm right over here. Oh, that's good to know. Let's wander out this way for a bit. <laughs> Let's go kill some goblins. Now maybe I'll go wander about the grove and see if anything changes. One, one more time. Let's be desperate. Nature cries for your blood! For justice! Steal the goblins' money. Poor goblins. Alright, I just want to go into the grove one more time. We'll see if anything ha changes. Probably not, but we'll give it a try. More wolf bolts. Very pretty. Do you have anything to say about this place, Kaidala? Do you think it's pretty? Did you call? Is there something I can... Ah. Oh, okay. Well, let's rest in the cave, because I'm tired.
leave the passage of Earth alone. Okay. Alright. Fuck it. Let's move on. I have dawdled long enough. I've even leveled. It's simply put, Nadia does not have game. Which means somewhere in my mind, Fenthic is sneering, going, See, you called me a wimp, but I actually got laid. That is true, Fenthic did get laid. Both Fenthics, but the Fenthic I played definitely got laid. Got laid by Drow. Hmm. I should think of another game that I could play with, uh... I mean, I guess I could try try the Adam Miller game. There is something wrong when you can't score with a literal nymph. I agree with you. I could try playing it again for the stream, but I think that would bore people. So, <laughs> to see it all over again. So I think maybe I'll play a different one after this. Alright, Bastion of the Enemy. Will I be able to leave? Probably not. Can't score with a nymph. God damn it, Nadia. Mysterious bracket. You have entered my caves. Do you actually dare to test your puny strength against my own might and the might of my entire army? I look around but see nothing. The masked man's voice is still only in my head, even here. You are a fool and you will writhe in pain, screaming for mercy and death. But in the end you will join me and serve me as... Suddenly the voice is cut off, and the voice of your weapon enters your mind. Well, that will be just about enough out of him. Arrogant creatures, these are littered. He knows we're here. Yes, he knows you're coming, so he suggests you move quickly. There must be a way to avoid the main mass of its army, or make a distraction. Look around carefully. I'm sure you can find a way. Okay. So let's see. There's a mysterious bracket again. Empty socket at its center. So I probably need to find something that fits in a socket, yeah? Well, let's go left. Oh, what the fuck's that thing? Okay, maybe it's easier to go figure out where these fucking lights are coming from. rotating mirror. Can I rotate the mirror? Uh, can I break it? You <gasps> My weapons will do me no good here. Damn. Okay. Worth the shot. Bounce. If you could pause for just a moment, I would like to speak to you, my friend. Okay. What's that? Ah. Well, at least I got somewhere with the Rakshasa. Nadia, I wanted to tell you that I've made up my mind. I would like to offer you the honor of being my Rakathi, my sister. Thank you, Jipoli. I have a bonding present for you, Rakathi. I have given some of my own energy to create this amulet. I hope you will wear it proudly. I will, your dear friend. As are you, Nadia. We should be going now. I'm proud of you, my Rakathi. Oh, well, you know. I might not have gotten laid, but I have a good sister relationship with the Rakshasa. Well, that's pretty good. I'll, I'll take it. What does it do? Ooh, okay. That's not bad. Let's go to shot. Still can't score with a nymph though. Rusted bracket. Ow. <laughs> okay, let's. Oh, 
Oh, it's a door. Did I miss other doors, or is this the first door I've seen? Let's take a look. Okay, it does seem like the first door I've seen. Okay. Okay. Oh, hi. Well, sorry. I do wish I had Great Cleave. Great Cleave would be fun right about now. Death will take one of us. Hi. But this is not gonna happen. Yeah. Nature cries for your blood. There's anything to find in this room. Aside from dead kobolds. And seem to be dead kobolds. I don't know. Given that I got a culmination with Jabuli, maybe maybe sometime wandering around here will make a uh, my nice dryad friend want to plant an acorn with me. Probably not though. I'm thinking. <laughs> Poor dear. Poor Nadia. Nadia does not have game. I am kind of thinking of doing that Shadow Lords, Demon, whatever game now, though. Because I've heard so many good things about it. Assuming it still works on, like, 25 year later machine. But... Do I want to go down there or see what's over there? I feel like I might not want to do this yet. I mean, maybe. Oh, Dwerger. Oh, well, oh, lift the mirror out of its bracket. Let's do this shit. Okay. I am weighted down too heavily, I feel. Alright, in the meantime, let's kill these fuckers. Nature cries for your blood! <laughs> We'll take one of us. <laughs> Nature cries for your blood. Damn, this mace is strong. Look at how I'm murdering these people. I'm not even really like doing anything. I'm just watching. Go these to the earth, get embrace. Alright. Oh, this is me. Or fall in the attempt. Okay. Nice. Nice. Death will take one of us. You must fall. Alright, just the my attack. Let's, let's kill them. Fall before my power! <sighs> <sighs> To the earth embrace! Death take you fool! Okay, so I feel like I want to see what's down here. No. Possibly rest somewhere if I can. Oh, I can rest here. Nice. It's funny that this place is easier than the goblin caves were, in terms of being able to rest. And I love that because of where I'm resting, my henchmen are, are 
literally resting in the path of the uh, fucking uh, lightning bolt. Oh well, you know how it goes. Sometimes you just have to be a dick to your henchmen. if I put the mirror here. Nothing. Okay. I am weighted down too yeah, heavily, yeah, yeah. I You're fear. Fine. Relax. Let's go look in the other direction and see what happens there. Speaking of... Does that help? It does! Yay! whispers in my head how foolish as if I would respond to such an unnatural creature there is something of interest here oh, I spotted something what did I spot not that is there a door did I spot it It sounded like I spotted it already, but what did I spot? I think where's that? I knew that was there, didn't I? I feel like there's the hidden wall door, so where does it lead? Which side is the hidden wall door on this side? Should be around here somewhere, yeah? at the mirror. Let's see if that does anything. Nope. It does not. So where did I spot it? I spotted it somewhere. Sift. There is something of interest here. There it is. Okay. Ah, it's some drow. Let's kill some drow. There is something of interest here. Hello, Drow. You must fall. rises before you. Several switches and dials dotting the surface. The markings on them seem are strange and at first glance don't appear to make any sense. Examine the panel. Success. I set about deciphering the encoded markings, soon learning that a large central dial controls the area's magical defenses. Turning the dial clockwise will increase the power, while turning counterclockwise will shut it down completely. Let's try counterclockwise. Okay. We turn down the defenses. Maybe there was a cooler way to do that, but I'm okay. Oh! 
clever. More trap. You must fall for the greater good. What's up the chest? There is Go to the earth's chest. embrace! Oh my. I can move back and forth now. I want to see what's over here before I continue on. Okay. Let me open the chest. Come on. Come on, you fuckers. Let me through. Open the chest. Thank you. Eh, not much. Okay. So, we'll find the other secret door over here. Steal that. Oh, I can. Eat. I am weighted down too heavily, I fear. Probably there's no real reason because I turned it off, but. Never know. Might need a mirror someday. Take I'll have your life! I'll have your life! One sec. Must fall for the greater good. I will answer any threat you make. I, unworthy foe. Oh shit, she's somewhere here. Oh, she's smart, she'll stay really still. But I'm pretty sure she's still alive. Just a guess. Because I can hear her. Oh, there she is. Hi. You know, if you just stayed still, we'd probably have left you here. A lot. The same. Yeah, sex be you. Jockey. What if I'm missing any keys? Hmm. That seems likely, but uh, Surrender. I have to admit, I, I don't have to meet your your end. Kill my way through and then try not to die. Until I can resurrect my girlfriend. You might not be that into me, but I'm into her, so we're gonna still save her. Huh, I'm living. I still alive. Only just, but you know. Holy shit, clerics are overpowered. <laughs> I'm just gonna point that out here. Clerics are overpowered. <laughs> there we go. Hi. Okay. Like, this is the only character I would have ever lived this long. 
My, where's Kaidella? Oh, there she is. Okay. Let's finish killing that guy. Hi. Perfect. Hi. Just disguised my attack. Did you call? How is everything? <laughs> One of the birds keeps telling you she looks pretty. Thanks, you. Okay. Maybe I just don't talk to her enough. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm letting my mage do all the killing. Like, yeah, I could I could help her out, but uh, right now we're just kind of wandering around through here. Alright. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't send any of the uh, army to help clear this out, though, because let's be honest here. What can an army do that a handful of adventurers can't? That's also what I learned from Final Fantasy XIV. <laughs> like, sure, we could have an entire army, or we could have one guy in a terrible outfit. Which one are we gonna use? Well, how terrible is the man's outfit? It looks like he's wearing a tank. Eh, maybe. It looks like he's wearing a tank, but is also wearing eyeliner. Less sentiment. That's life lessons I learned from Final Fantasy. Oh no 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 no! Ah! It just crashed on me. I don't know when it saved. Fuck. I even commented on that. On my lack of saving and did not save. Oh boy. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. Ah. Fucking hell. Okay, well, might as well sit. Might as well proceed. <laughs> Where the fuck did I save last? Not fucking there, huh? Oh, fucking hell. Okay. Huh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Fuck. You have entered my caves. All right. We. I already read that. I'm not reading it again. Well, that will be just about enough out of him. Arrogant. All right. I do like my sword. My sword is fun. All right. Well, fuck. Did you call? I didn't die. Uh, yeah, I've totally got this though. Yeah, good night, Rashke. I'll let you. I'll let you know if my uh, if if my nymph decides she likes me after all. Normally, I'd have said I've missed my shot entirely, but it is true that uh, what's her name uh, did uh, did decide we were sisters last minute. So maybe maybe she'll decide she likes me too. Our enemy whispers in my head. How foolish! As if I would respond to such an unnatural creature. There is something of interest here. Uh, something I can poke my nose at? Come on. There is something of interest here. There we go. Alright. Let's go kick things asses. Okay. Okay. Fucking hell. Alright. There is something of interest. Yeah, I know. Yes. Just gonna put everything first. Again. This is not the end. Kinda is, dude. Examine. Let's go counterclockwise. Okay, so I can go that way. But I think I'm gonna do this the long way. So that I could go up there, which I think I can go to anyway. So we're gonna do this the long way because I want to still kill things. 
Oh, the bouncy ball thing's still fucking working. Okay. That's annoying. Quick saving, though. Alright, let's go murdering again. Still. <laughs> Possibly I could put on defensive spells, but really Die, why? Unworthy Honestly, the only way this would be better if I had great cleave. But nice, maybe I'll kill enough of these to get to the Okay, clear the room, saving the game. This fucker will have no army by the time I'm through. Still sad about the acorn though. Genuinely sad about the acorn. Hi. Oh. Surrender, or prepare to meet your end. Kill the cannon fodder first. Yeah, let's kill the cannon fodder first. And try not to die, because it would be embarrassing to die by. <laughs> let's head out again. That's right. I you must this. fall for the greater good. Guys. There we There we go. One more. 
anymore. There we go. Where on earth is my rage? Who is she murdering? There we go. I'm sure she's murdering somebody. Or maybe she's not. Really? Oh, no, she was. Alright, fair enough. Okay. So now let's resurrect my new friend, and then we'll get some rest. There we go. God, that mirror is nice. So nice. Alright, what do we got now? Remains? Remains? Or Always good for a romantic evening? Or kiki? Alright, now let's save again. <sighs> can I succeed? I think I can. It's actually going pretty well. Aside from the, you know, lack of acorn. Alas. Oh, hi, goblins. That was really fun. Hi. Or goblins. I always feel really bad killing them. It's like kobolds. You kill them, but they're like so easy to kill. It's like sneeze and they're dead. It's hard to take satisfaction out of killing goblins. Come on, they're goblins. I think there was an anime though where uh, killing goblins actually it ended up being quite messy. They uh, killed the goblin and uh, they went to kill the goblins. But they were overconfident and, and all got murdered and or raped by goblins. It was actually kind of like one of those a bit too intentionally edgy sort of things and you're just like, eh, I don't really think that was necessary. Kind of like when you watch a deconstruction of a genre that clearly doesn't quite get why the genre exists. And you're like, yeah, I guess, but you're kind of missing something here, dude. Like the magic of a girl show with the uh, with the annoying cat thing. That's like partially evil. Surrender, or prepare to meet know. your end. <laughs> Stop killing her. <laughs> Finally. All right. Damn! I knocked you down, dude. Oh shit, I'm also gonna die. Okay. I am gonna- I died through goblins. That's fucking embarrassing. Okay. So, let's go back up and get killed by goblins again. <laughs> Cause it's fun. Cause sometimes you gotta survive embarrassment for character growth. But my Rakshasa no longer wants to declare me her sister and I think this is wrong. So she's on to get my ass kicked by a goblin. Sorry. Alright. Oh, I lost her again? Jesus Christ, Kaidala. Alright, fine. Why does not have her armed up enough or something? Because it's a little ridiculous. You must fall. 
for the greater good. Did you call? Why don't Is you there take some a different shape? Uh, be a panther. Oh, I could have her be a chicken? Awesome. Maybe next time. Nature cries for your blood! There we go. Better. Let's keep him down. Death will take one of us! <laughs> Death will take one of us! no game. Good cleavage, but no game. Alright. So, let's try... It's embarrassing to have to do this, but... the chieftain. Thank you. 
to the Earth's embrace! Must fall Another chief for the greater good. Regular chieftain. Not a hobgoblin chieftain. Nice. You know, you should thank me. You could be in charge of now that I killed the hobgoblin. But instead, you're just gonna try to kill me. I see how it is. This death. There we go. Death will take one of us! There we go. You must fall oh, for yeah. the greater good. Say these people aren't brave. It's a little stupid. Shame. That's, that's what it is. Here. Okay. Okay. So we've got. That was harder than it looked. <laughs> I can hop a couple of them. Still. Alright, so we're gonna rest again and then head to the other side and see what we can kill on this side. There we go. Alright. Saving again? Because fuck that shit. I'm sad that I'm not apparently getting the sister comment from Jamuli again. That was like my one consolation for not getting the uh, romantic dialogue with uh, Kaidala. Oh well. It is what it is. Nah. Ow! Itch! 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 There we go. I'm gonna have to see tonight if my Baywatching theory is correct. My cat likes to stay hidden for a lot, but if I watch a particular YouTube thing called Baywatching, in which someone goes through all of the episodes of Baywatch and makes fun of them, the cat will come out. If you could pause for just a moment, I oh, would like to go. speak to you, my friend. So it's a set location where that goes off? That's a thought. One sec. Another. cheating or anything, I promise. Except I kinda am.
sec. Ah, okay, let's see. Okay. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just taking a brief break to see if I can see something useful. Except it's not working. Come on. You asshole. Come on. Ah. Okay. I see what I did wrong. I do think I missed my shot. Oh well. It is what it is. I wonder, do I have a save game early enough to make it work though? Hmm. So what do you guys think? There are people who are watching this. Are you bored enough to see me backtrack like 15,000 times to to proceed with a romance quest? Because I'm willing to do that, but uh, I feel bad for you. Well, let's see if it's even possible first. <laughs> we can see, because, you know, if you don't say anything, I might do it. Even though it means I'm not going to finish tonight. But, um, alright, let me save... I'm going to save here ah stop it okay so let's see if I can get this how early are my saves this one maybe before I can do my thing so let's find out Let's find out if what I'm even trying to do is possible. Okay, so it's in the Manticore Caves. Do I have the Manticore Hide? I feel like I should. I'm going to be really annoyed if I don't. <laughs> really, I don't? Shit. Alright. I do not. <sighs> ah, it's way too far down. Nope. I'm just going to have to go with it. No ro no romantic finish this time. Oh. And if I just don't do the Manticore plot. gonna see if it's possible. <laughs> Alright, let's see if it's possible. So, the components I want to see if this actually works. If we ignore the manticore. 
No more manticore shit. the grove, which I probably had to do before. Just want to know if it'll trigger. I'm not going to replay it all for it. I will not, but I just want to know if it'll trigger. So, let's go back up and meet what's the name and see if she'll take me back to town. No, go away, you fuckers. All right, fine. Surrender. I just want to see we'll something. Take I don't want to waste time fighting people. <laughs> Must fall for the greater good. If I knew how to put up a poll, I would. <laughs> like, how many people in the audience, such as there are, want romance more than efficiency? All right. Are you ready to return to the key? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> it's hilarious. It happens as the zombies beating the shit out of me. All right. Um. Hmm. So I've seen the grove. Will it work now? When I peeked at the someone else's video, it had triggered in the north. So let's go north and see if it triggers. If it does, then I have a decision to make. On the plus side, I could do always do the prison, which I didn't do. Oops, that wasn't actually where I wanted to be, was it? Eh. Oh, but I should come out there and do that stuff eventually. <laughs> but not today. Because I already did it. Today. <laughs> That's even if the damn thing triggers. Which, if it doesn't trigger, I have no decision to make. It'll be easy. Alright. Now, where was that thing I saw? I think it was around here. That looks familiar. You seem like a decent sort of person. I hope you win the election. Thank you, small child. Okay. Well, this looked like the place where it triggered. And it's not triggering. So there's probably another component that I can't do. In which case, I probably shouldn't worry about it. If I can't get it to trigger, I can't get it to trigger. And there's no sense replaying things if I can't get it to trigger. Whatever other variables, variables I got. Aw, thank you, chill runs. Whatever other variables I missed, I missed them. So, nope. Can't do it. Alright, well, let's go back and finish up the game then. Glad I didn't delete. No romance. I'm stuck. I'm stuck gazing at my uh, nymph friend from afar. That's okay, though. That's alright. When you play a romance for Pride Month... 
sometimes you get shot down because that is true no matter what your sexual orientation is sometimes you just have no game and Nadia has no game alas but what can you do spectacular cleavage sure game no and I just tilted my screen all right well anyway <laughs> so how are you chill runs it's good to see you Good. Oh, awesome. I like watching your Zelda practices. You make it look so easy. And even when you lose, you you always seem so so like calm and zen about it. But it's just like this is the most rel relaxing speedrun I have ever watched. I guess this is normal enough for Zelda, but <laughs> well, you make it look easy. But I know how, I know what you mean. I just don't make things look easy. I make them look very difficult. And then everyone admires me when for once I don't die. <sighs> That's my master plan. Alright. On plus side lightning bolts. Yep. Well. I was aiming for a romantic resolution in this game. Which can be done with this lovely nymph girl who's currently a wolf. But sadly, sadly, it did not work because I missed some variables. No romance for me. There's some mild flirting though. That happened. I was hoping, hoping for a lovely, cute romantic bit, and instead I get to represent, I get to represent all lesbians who have no game. I hope, I hope they feel represented. <laughs> All right, all right. No more silly miss. Now we just get our ass kicked by kobolds. Or ideally kick the ass of kobolds. I mean, let's be honest here. All right. Oh, speaking of, I have not plugged my thing for a bit. Never played? Well, I would recommend them, definitely. Um... The nice thing about it is that, um, well, I, I'd say the original campaign's a little on the mediocre side. There is a shit ton of fan-created content, and some of it's spectacular. Cause, um, and some of it's not, but you know, still fun. It's got a huge fan-created content base. If you ever go, like, if you're ever curious, you can go pop by neverwintervault.org. I think that's it. And um, you can just like see how many things are in the project section. And you're like, and you can see that that is a shit ton of, of content. This is one of the little mini adventures that came with the game. It's relatively short. Oh, I gotta kill Surrender, a bunch of dwarves. Pardon me a moment. Or prepare to meet your end. Unlike, say, Skyrim, the most of the uh, fan-created content isn't really in the form of, like, mods that affect the way the game works. Oh, I just lost my... Why does my nymph keep fucking dying on me? Probably because I don't have an armor very well. Oh. I'm from Duragurus. That's just embarrassing. All right, well, let's go. Oh, cleave your skull! Yeah, I'm sure you will, dude. Feel the day, blood and glory. I would definitely recommend it if you got Surrender. if um. Or prepare to meet your well, honestly, I I definitely recommend it if you like uh role-playing games of of various genres because I'm sure I'm sure you can find a fan mod. That, that suits whatever genre you like. There's some that are like survival you. horror. Baldur's Gate, nice one down. Just guide my attack. They're yelling. Um, those are the ones just before this one, so they play a little different, but I think they're all pretty good. Glory. Yeah. Come to your death. Yeah. All right, let's just do this. Oh, oh, 
crap. The clerics are hard to kill, aren't they? So, the nice thing about the uh, ex extra content that fans create for this, though, is um, while you do get some that affect the way the game works, most of them are just new adventures packed in, in modules. So, if you say mods and you're talking about Neverwinter Nights, um, people assume you're talking about like additional adventures as opposed to uh, modifications. So, it's, it's kind of a funny sort of uh, miscommunication that can happen. But it's fun. There are all sorts of lovely things. Anyway, my companions for today are a nymph, who is currently a wolf, who I cannot romance because I botched, and a Rakshasa lady, who is not evil, like most Rakshasas. Unfortunately, I am not very good at this game, so you get to watch me get my ass kicked. Alright. Let's see. What is your equipment set up? Because I feel like you should not... Oh, because you're being a wolf. That that actually does not help. Um, can I cast something on you to make you slightly harder to kill? Probably not. Why else can you do this to me? I'm not very good at this game. Alright. Now that actually targeting circle is new. They did a, um, there was a patch done recently because they're still doing, still doing patch content for the game. Fan created, not not official, but the official folks do distribute it. I guess they get all the credit without the work, so why not? Come on, just kill this guy. I'll cleave your skull. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure you will. All right, now I gotta go back to these guys before they kill me. I probably shouldn't have, like, just... Uh, yeah! uh, <laughs> Come on, just kill, kill one at a time. Pick one and just kill him. Oh, oh, that's, no. that's better. That's how you do yeah! it. Just, just keep hitting things with a stick. Which probably explains why she has no idea. Because she keeps hitting your stuff! I'm a taste of this! Cleave your skull! Glory! I probably should not die again. Stop killing me. These players are so overpowered in this game. So overpowered. Oh. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm, I'm not very good at mixing the sound very well, so I do apologize. I guarantee you, nothing I say is particularly yeah. significant, though. <laughs> so you don't have to worry, you didn't miss anything. Alright. Sorry, let me kill this guy. And that guy. And maybe even this guy. Go to the Earth's embrace! Alright. <laughs> there we go. We have now massacred our way through a bunch of Duergar. I feel very accomplished. And I need to loot some corpses. Did I... Hold on a sec. Did I forget and not get... Oh no, there's a cobalt key. Drow key, goblin key, or key. I think that's probably all the keys I need. <laughs> alright, alright. Now let's rest, because I don't particularly want to die again. Still. Maybe. So let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm still sad that I missed my romantic opportunity. I'll have to, it'll be a reason to replay the game at some point. So sad. So sad. Nadia has no game. But even Fenthic got laid in his game. Ugh. I am disgusted. Disgusted. Not that disgusted. <laughs> alright, alright. No more jokes, no more jokes, especially when it's the same joke for like 45 minutes straight. Alright. Let's save again. Saving again.
Yeah, I know, right? <coughs> Sometimes you just... The timing's just not right. And then you try to go back and relive the moment you missed, and it, it just doesn't work. It's very sad. Very sad. But I do get the satisfaction of knowing, uh, thanks to an overheard conversation between my companions, that she's attracted to my character. So, perhaps someday in the distant future, they will find their way together. After, after Bully's time, time to try to die. Please don't die. I actually quite like both. There we go. Ah, hello, ch hello, girls. There will always be another chance in the distant future. Unless one or both of us die. And even then, that's the Forgotten Realm. So it's like people get resurrected all the time in the Forgotten Realms. So it'll be fine. Just try to make make sure you make friends with that one nice drow elf. Inevitably. There is something it. of interest here. Oh, yeah. It's the passageway to the other... To that room I was in earlier. Which I knew was there, but... I wanted to go the long way. Because I wanted to kill more things. Because I am a good person. Wait. Perhaps that logic doesn't entirely hold. Alright. Now, it's funny you mentioned Icewind Dell, because if you see my character portrait here, with the spectacular cleavage, um, it is actually from Icewind Dell. It is not one of the portraits that came with this game, but I thought it was pretty. The portraits that came with this game are probably the easiest way to use fan created content. Not much I can do with that. Oh, hey. Look at all those keys I just lost. Kobold, go Goblin, Orc, Dwergar, and Drow. I think I'm about to go kick an Elithid's ass. Unless there's a whole, like, other level of dungeon down here, which is always possible. But will kind of annoy me. I do really like the politics stuff in the game. I just wish it didn't force you forward at a certain point in this particular module. It's very annoying. I... I think it is time for more to be revealed. I want to tell you about myself. The magic weapon suddenly seems hesitant, vulnerable. Tell me. I was once a demon hunter. I was a man of power, sought out by rulers and zealots across the continent. I was strong in my beliefs, a man of pure heart and purpose. I remember a demon hunter being mentioned in one of these, uh, earlier in this game. Then I met your grandmother. My, my mace is my grandfather. That is awesome. I fell in love and we were married. She eventually became pregnant and she gave birth to your father. That is awesome. That's right, Nadia de Montmorency. I am your grandfather, and I want you to know that I am proud of you. You have... Suddenly his voice stops, as if his presence has been ripped from your mind. No! Oh, just... Uh, this is my grandfather. This magic mace. That's adorable. My grandfather's kind of badass, though. Look at this. Plus two, plus three, 1d6, 1d4. Some light, massive criticals. Confusion and days. My grandfather's badass. But that is awesome. I like that reveal. I am your grandfather. I banged your grandmother. You I must protect my the master. Protect the master. Kill the intruders. Oh Kill no! The intruders. They resurrected my old friends and you made must them pay. For the greater good. That makes me so sad. I need to kill that guy first. No sneak attacks for you, Trip. Sorry. Oh, that's clever, though. Not only do you have, did you have to kill the or condemn the two friends you didn't choose to death. Now you get to fight them here because your enemy resurrected them. Oh, that's assholeish. And now I get to kill them again. That's so mean. Don't make me kill my friends. Oh, hey, okay. Trip is so sorry he attacked you. Trip did not mean you any harm. I thought Trip was dead last I knew. It was like Trip was suddenly coming back to life. And I thought Trip was saved by friends. 
Then I opened my eyes, and there was this ugly monster standing over me. Trip brain hurt. Then I didn't know anything anymore. Trip is suddenly standing in front of you in a big fight. Imagine my surprise. Imagine my fear. That monster was nasty to Trip. Aww. It seems our enemy, the masked man, is a mind flayer. Trip has heard of those. They have nasty mind powers. No wonder Trip did such a stupid thing as to attack you. When Trip realizes I am in fight with you, I hear his voice in my head telling me that it is fun to watch Trip be killed by you. Alright. I don't know you won't fall prey to him again. Trip of his voice is in his head all the time. Now that I know what he is, Trip will fight him off. Promise. Alright. I won't kill you, but you have to flee. Go back to the keep. Thank you, thank you. Ah, oh, they both went. Oh, I wanted to talk to Calabas too. Oh well. They both went. <laughs> I'm glad though. I'm glad my friends get to live. That makes me happy. Especially since they're not entirely wrong, I did kind of kill them. Well, technically speaking, four of my friends were dead, and I got to resurrect two of them, con condemning the other two to permanent death. So, I picked the girls. Alright. Oh, an intellect devourer. Well, to steal a do a joke from the D&D movie, you're not going to be very interested in any of us, except maybe the worst. Nature cries for your blood! Death will take one of us! Oh, there's another one. God fucking damn it, you assholes. Just die already. Waste your spells on an intellect of our Jaboli. <coughs> That's an Isaac's. Don't waste an Isaac's missile storm on it. Ugh. The pain of not controlling your companion spellcaster slots. Alright. Should have ditched you for Caliban. On the plus side. Alright, let's rest. Alright. It would be fun to replay this and try to arrange every quest so that I could actually complete them. That would be very fun to do. Not yet, though. I've done that with uh, Hordes of the Underdark a number of times, because I, I always knew how to do that one and make sure I could complete all the quests. But not this one. I didn't know how to do this one. Woohoo! Alright. We went from Beholder Tunnels to Illithid Architecture. You can always tell in Illithid's place because it's vaguely purple and kind of swirly hallways. Now, Nolithid as a mage. Oh, hi. You have come right to me like a pathetic fool, scum. Today I rise and you shall die. It seems strange to see your adversary without his mask, but you know without it, but you know beyond a shadow of a doubt that it is him. If nothing else, you recognize the voice. Well, let's fuck him over. Ah, can't yet? Okay. Alright. Now we gotcha. Okay. You Girls, must fall get those. For the greater good. I'm gonna fucking knock this guy on his ass. This is the cheapest battle technique you can ever do, but yeah. also kind of fun. Uh. There yeah. we go. Knock the fucker on his ass. Oops. Oh shit. Now I'm dazed. Wait, do I not? What the? Oh, okay. That's it. Alright. Time to knock this guy on his ass again. Spam, knock down until he falls. Oh. 
probably better to get the intellect devoured. Ah, uh, no! eh, fuck it. Let's kill these guys first. Kill the small guys first. Then you're only dealing with one asshole at a time. What are you doing? I am your enemy. Attack me. Oh, he doesn't like it when we attack the other stuff, does he? Oh, this is fun. Okay. I'm gonna piss him off. Why won't you listen? Obey me. Attack me. Nature cries for your blood. Oh, he is angry that I'm hitting his friends. Okay. All right, I'm will liking take this. One I'm liking us. this a lot. My thwarted amorous adventures? You'd be thwarted too, you asshole. Well, actually, I'm currently stunned, but I'll be unstunned soon enough. Stop hitting him. Would you believe he wants you to hit him? Hit this guy. This guy's fun to hit. Yes, kind of like it is. You know, like do best. Oh, you're over there. Oh, the dire wolf. Okay, come on. Come on. Die, you fucker. Come on. Come on. Kill him. Stop being annoying. Just kill him. Go to the earth's embrace! Stop that. Yep, there, there went the summons. Surrender, or prepare to meet your. Oh, end. that's my problem. I keep crossing the fucking line. All right. There I go again. Oh, there goes the bully. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Okay. Let's resurrect her. Because um, I don't really want to end this thing with with my people dead. Yeah. All right. Now. For justice! Stop that. Okay, I probably should actually heal myself. At least as soon as, you know, I'm able to do so. All dead or nope, not dead yet. Come on, come on, hit him. Come on, hit him. <coughs> there we go. <laughs> now we've now let's have some fun. Knock his ass over. Is there anything else I can hit? Treasure to look at. That'll be fun. I know, I know. You can hit him. Alright, let's uh let's make sure she's okay. There we go. Let's see. Is there something I can hit him with that would be less irritating? Probably not. Probably should have me memorized something like with invisibility purge, huh? Yeah, well, it is what it is. <laughs> God fucking damn it, stop it.
right. Yeah, let's go back to trying to knock down the fucking lipid. That shit will wear off eventually. Okay. <gasps> yes. Oh, see, he's back. He's back. Oh, no. He's healed again. No, my clarity wore off. Alright, let's see if there's something else I can do. Because this is getting tedious and I'm getting annoyed. Alright. What is this fucking thing? I'm gonna look that up later, because I don't know what that fucking thing is. Okay, let's go. Okay. Right. Now I remember why it's, I find it hard to place your clerics. I didn't give myself enough fucking defensive abilities. Actually, let's put this on. Try to knock him over at super speed. Probably not gonna work, but you know, we're gonna give it a shot anyway. Stop clicking myself. Eh. What's the big tentacle thing? That is a depiction of an Elithid's mother brain that's uh, supposed to be like the center of their communal intelligence. Sadly, I don't seem to be able to interact with it in this. So I think it's just here for decoration. It's gross looking though, isn't it? Yeah! Oh yes, I finally knocked the fucker down. Seems to be staying up though. That's annoying. You're not supposed to stay up when I knock you down, dude. But it did cause him some damage. So Go down. I'm gonna keep going. With it. This technique is seems to work. Go to the earth Death and break. He also fall. seems to not be not be able to. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Stunned me again. <sighs> I wish there was something. I could Nature do cries for right. your blood. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Yeah. For justice. This is very tedious. Let's, let's just whack him again. 
Come on, fuck him. Thank you. Final boss fights can can be so annoying. <coughs> Missed. Got him. Yeah, caused him seven damage. <laughs> he does have pretty good fucking damage resistance though. But I got him seven. I'll take it. I will save again. Stop killing her. <sighs> so annoying. can't do the area effect uh, stun spell anymore. Okay. Can I only hit him on a net point? Oh, you know what? <coughs> Fuck it. I think... Well, I don't know. Hold on. Let me see what I got spell-wise. I have spells I didn't even know I did. I had. Okay, well, no wonder I'm fucking sucking at this. Okay. Clarity. Alright, perfect. Okay. Well. Let's reload. Okay. My own fault? I forgot I had spells. Like I said, if, uh, <laughs> watching the D&D &D movie, it was fun to find ourselves, and I am the bard who forgets I can do, do magic. Alright, let's see. Fourth level. A okay, third level. Let's get some clarity in, in this fucker. Dispel didn't do much good for me, so let's go clarity. Do we have. Okay, that that could be good. Um, what's that one? Staring light. Staring light be, might be useful. Um, let's get rid of the summons. Alright, remove curse, remove disease. Staring light. Dark fire, okay. Now, get a clear critical or two. Greater magic weapons, kinda nice. Inflict critical wounds. True seeing. Let's see if that helps. Alright. Now, anything I wanna switch out from below? Uh, knock might still be useful. All right, we're gonna make. We're gonna see if this helps. Cause I think if I can see the fucker, I'm gonna be able to kill him. Or we'll find out. <laughs> we will fucking find out. Let's go. Let's go. And because I forgot, um, I am going to remind folks that on Tuesday at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I will be playing Boyfriend Dungeon for the uh, Queer Indie Game Showcase, which is raising money for Stream for a Cause. So, uh, let me show you if you want to know a bit more about what Stream for a Cause is. I have a bot. I made a bot to talk about it a little bit. <laughs> it's a bit long-winded, sorry about that. And if you're looking to donate prior to this charity stream day, here's a donate button. All right, back to back to this. I made a bot, or at least made a command for a bot. Uh, for me, that's pretty good. 
I, I, I don't know what the hell I'm doing 99% of the time, so I'm going to take it as a victory. Alright, so now, let's see, with a little more preparation, can I kick the ass of this fucker? We are going to, don't know for sure, but we are going to fucking try. Now, I need to buff myself up. With some clarity. And some true seeing. Now that should negate his advantages just a little. Clarity's not gonna last forever, but. Okay, hi. Okay, I do recognize that it's him, but I've already read that, so I don't fucking care. Let's do this shit. Okay, I still wanna kill those guys first. Because it pisses him off that I attack them first. So, I'm gonna attack them first. Thank you, Kaidala. Perfect. Perfect. Look at how well they die. So well, so well. Come on, die, die. Let's go. Perfect, perfect. Let's kill this one. Nature cries for your blood! Look at him just yelling at me helplessly as I kill his friends. Alright, now. Now let's see how this works. Oh, isn't this so much better? I mean, I'm still, physical reduction's not doing too well, but the acid and the electrical are nice. Look at that, I am hitting him. I am hitting him lots of times. Let's see if knockdown will fucking work now. Let's do this. Probably not, but that's okay. I can still hit him normally, so it's okay. <laughs> Ah, my rolls are terrible. That's not even telling me if that's effective, because I'm just rolling badly. Look at that, seven, three? Ugh, terrible rolls. Terrible rolls. Alright, let's try this again. Alright. Oh, my clarity wore off. Yeah, kinda knew that was gonna happen, so... Let's take uh, my clarity potion as soon as I can. True seeing does not wear off, though, so that's not quite nice. There we go. Now. Hi again. Oh, you're down to injured. Uh, I probably should heal her though. So I'd really rather she not die. There we go. Oh my, look, I've got him down to badly wounded. Look at that, look at that, look at how effective I am being. Now if I, can I knock him down? <laughs> now I just want to see if I can. Not even is it worth it, it's just can I do it? Or am I just gonna roll terribly every time I try? I'm just gonna roll terribly every time I try, apparently. <coughs> hey, stop killing yourself, you asshole. Oh wow, his damage reduction now that I'm actually hitting him? It went from like 118 to 30. Ah, we've been doing good, huh? Yeah! Go to the earth embrace! You know what? 17 missed on the knockdown. We're not gonna knock down anymore, we're just gonna hit him. Fuck it. <laughs> See, it's much better if I just hit him. Stop healing yourself, though, you asshole. Come on, come on. Nice. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, fuck. Alright. Well. Do I have one more clarity spell? I think I do, actually. Well, let's put that here, so I actually remember to use it. As soon as this wears off, we are gonna cast that fucking spell. Ha! Dick. Don't kill your bully. Yeah! <laughs> Alright, that's, that's fucking around. I knew that was gonna happen, it's so fucking annoying. Alright, let's cast it on myself. Alright, let's uh, resurrect my friend. One. And then let's heal myself. Oh, 
Oh, and shit, he's near death. Nice. We'll strike you down or okay. fall in the attempt. Well, I guess see what's in his treasure before the game ends. Maybe, maybe not. That's okay. Holy shit, level up. And look at that treasure. So, my grandchild, you are everything I ever <laughs> hoped for. I think it is time you saw me in the flesh, as it were. The magic weapon's voice echoes sadly in your mind. Your magic weapon melts in your hand, the resulting vapors coalescing into the form of a human man before you. He stands erect and proud, a bittersweet smile upon his face. There, that's better, isn't it? And don't worry about your friends. They are still alive, just unconscious for a while. I thought it better if we could talk in private. Do you like being my weapon? Yes, I've enjoyed every minute I've spent with you. It's almost as good as being alive again. Even better in some ways. I don't have to worry about myself getting killed anymore. Would you like to be free? Not yet. Someday I might wish to make the journey to the next world. But for now, I like what we're doing together. There's much to do. I think we have the, quite the future in store, you and I. Well, tell me about yourself, Grandfather. I was born in the Southern Highlands and raised with a weapon in my hand. My clan, for all races in the Highlands, belong to a clan worshipped a demon called Gishtara. One day our shaman held a special ordeal, summoning the demon to support his worshippers. The shaman lost control of his abomination, and it turned on my people. I was one of the few survivors. I dragged my body to a neighboring clan, holding my intestines in with one hand, Ooh. pulling myself forward with the other. Is that why you became a demon hunter? Indeed, I dedicated my life to the destruction of all demon in this spawn. Do you remember anything of my past? You were born in dark times, and those times still grow darker by the hour. I died my death many years before that day, though bonded to your grandmother, I remained. When your parents were killed, she fled with you, pressed tight against her breast, her wings beating through the night. Wings? Your grandmother is a complex woman, Nadia, but let it not be said that she doesn't love you fiercely, like a direwolf loves her pups. Okay, well, uh, we already went through that. I already went through that. Um, Alright, it's time we return to the keep. The grandfather glances at the masked man's glistening corpse. We not pay last respects to your fallen brother? My brother? Ours is an interesting family tree, my child. The, the, the Elithid is my brother. Okay. To be fair, I always loved you best. As for your grandmother, it was always strength that she demanded above all. Your father once had a brother too, you know. strong survive, I guess. Yes, that's why she lured you both here to Cyan. And when Yenna interfered and killed you both, she brought you back so this could be settled free from outside meddling. She's very pr proud of you, Nadia. Uh, she seems kind of evil. Yes, that much is true and more besides. Family is family, and I've seen much good in her too. Even when I least expect it, it shines through. Come, our business is done here. I will become your weapon again for the journey. Your grandmother waits for us in the guild hall, Nadia, and will be eager to see you sit the throne. There's much afoot, and dark days still to come. Oh, so I do get to loot the, the stuff after all. Nice! Okay. Well, I guess... I've won, it looks like. But I do want some answers, so hopefully my grandmother will be accommodating. In the meantime, some nice looking armor. I am weighted down. None of which I have any idea of what they do, but that's alright. <laughs> Lots of shit. Kinda normal looking. I'm sorry, shit. did you wish to speak to me, my friend? Please identify stuff. Okay. Oh. Well those are quite quite nice. They look kinda world build building y, so let's have a look. So banded mail three. How is that compared to what I got? Eh, my, what I got is better. Alright. Chainmail plus three. Instead of the leather armor. Um let's shove things in here. Cause I mean, definitely sellable. Gotta fund my new treasury somehow, right? <laughs> Alright. I do like that. My grandfather is my weapon. Eyes of Doom, what does it do? Ooh, well. Seems like it could be useful someday. Alright. Now let's go over here and see what's over here. I lived. I lived. How is my- and it lifted my brother though. That's very strange to me. 
Oh, look at all these weapons, none of which I have any use for. So I'm gonna take anyway, because I can. What a nice treasure haul. All right, now I can level up. Uh, it is sad, sad that, but not unhappy. Great Cleave is my one of my favorite feats. Very good. Things oh. are coming along quite nicely. Soon you shall have regained exactly, all the power exactly. you once had. My grandfather's my now, weapon. And how would you instruct me to grow in power? And grandma is... Actually, we met my grandmother as a really old woman. Um, but then we were told she uh, blasted off into space. Yep, I'm hoping we'll get a little bit more explanation when I get back to the guild hall for the epilogue. Alright, so let's choose some powers. Fire or cold? Maybe. Special. I can poison opponents. Eh. Uh... I feel like heal light wounds is kind of overrated with this sort of context. So let's put some fire damage on it. Now let's see what this fucking mace can do now. Where is my mace? There is my mace. Now that's a normal mace. Where's my actual mace? I feel like it should be in here somewhere. Did I lose my magic mace? That would be hilarious. Oh, no, here he is. Alright, here's my grandpa. I can't tell my grandpa from another mace. Look at that. Plus two, acid, electric, fire. That's just silly. That's just silly. Alright, so how the hell do I get back? I uh, might as well save you. Yep, Grandpa's the weapon. Grandma's got wings and a mysterious backstory. My brother's an illithid and I'm, and I'm trying to bang a nymph. Honestly, I think I'm the most normal one in this group. Alright. Oh, there we go. Guildhall. Thank you for not making me walk all the way back. Yay. I am now Lady of the Keep. My throne is kind of awesome. Oh, grand, grand indeed! A spectacle for the ages! Look at that now! Ah! Huh. No backstory? Okay, well, that's still kind of nice. I like the ending credits. Alright, well, I have Kingmakered myself. And that I am now Lady of the Keep. And I'd like to think that eventually, eventually, the nymph and I will go plant that acorn. And I mean that both literally and euphemistically. Thank you, thank you, chill runs. It was good to have you here. Alright. Alright. Well. I like all the Blake beta testers' names. <laughs> This is my first, the first mini adventure that I've completed for stream, so that's kind of fun. Oh, ah, thank you, the sparkly wallflower. So I get to figure out what I'll play for next time. Well, that'll be a question for next time. I think I'm gonna go raid someone. All right, all right. Let's see, let's see. Where, where, where shall I go? Who shall I raid? So many possibilities. So late at night. Uh, okay. Huh. Huh. Does anyone have any suggestions of someone they'd like to raid? Because I do like meeting new people. If not, perhaps I will pick random. You know, I have not raided RGB in a while. And speaking of Zelda... He is playing Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. So maybe I will raid RGB. 
Let's go. All right. Well, I'm going to wish you all a good night. Um, I'm going to go put on some silly YouTube videos and see if that lures my cat out of hiding. And, well, good night to all. Bye-bye.